What's up, everybody? My name is David Moorfield. I'm a freelance DP, and I also own my own video production company. I wanted to start making these vlogs to kind of show an inside look of what it looks like for someone who lives in Orlando that tries to jump on freelance DP jobs. This one in particular is a job in Miami. So I'm taking the four hour drive from Orlando to Miami to work with a corporate client. And for some reason, they all put me in the same hotel. Doesn't matter who the client is, but it's nice. Um, here's a little tip is I take my air tag off my keys and throw it under my seat. That way, if my car that gets valeted goes for a joyride, I know about it. This is the work truck. Somehow it works. And so it's the night before. We've got an early call time and I'm just prepping the camera, making sure everything worked. I already prepped when I left Orlando. Now it's just a quick test on battery levels, formatting the cards, making sure the resolution and picture profile and all the small details that need to happen tomorrow are already done when I arrive. So this is a brand new cage from Shape, just got it today. And one of the features that I have been wanting the most is an HDMI lock. Now this one is bent because I didn't have an HDMI that could fit inside here. So I just looped and pushed it out here. Will that damage the cable? I don't know. We'll find out. And I have a spare HDMI cable just in case. Um, but this cage lets me mount a lot more, just a lot of versatility and um, protection. So it's got the top plate, the side plate, and the bottom plate as well. And then uh, my newer monitor is the Small HD 502 Bright, um, which has just been so nice. It's small, it came with a cage. These things are expensive, they're, the, these monitors, because they're hard to find. Everybody uses them, it's kind of a industry standard. So the only thing I wish is it had a DC port so I could charge it from a V-mount or something. But I do like how lightweight this style is. The BPU batteries, or BPA batteries, last two to three hours. So I don't have to have a big clunky V-mount on the back. And having the monitor forward, um, not squished up to your eye is much more preferable than mounting it up here where it's, it's almost hard to see if this is kind of near your chest or shoulder. This puts it right at eye level in a natural spot. So everything looks good. I'm borrowing my buddy's lens. Tristan gave me his 24 to 70 f 2.8. And the idea with this is I won't have to change lenses tomorrow. 2.8 should give me enough of a shallow depth of field look for the interviews that I won't have to use the prime lenses, the 30 and the 85. Theoretically, I can just use this and save time and maximize um, efficiency on set. That's the whole point of this. It, this gear isn't gonna be a return on investment. It's to maximize efficiency and workflow and make my job easier so that I can use my mental capacity for creative decisions rather than technical logistical decisions. It just works. And that's the whole point of getting the right gear. At least that's my philosophy. I think you're legally required to start every Miami production job with a cafe con leche. So luckily this place was right across the street and I got breakfast, which isn't too often. This is location one of three today, up on the 12th floor. So everything fits inside those three cases. It should be two, tripod should be in the big one. But that's how I move everything. And then this is our set for today. We're thinking of having one interview here and one interview here. And then the third one, we gotta decide. And we got about 30 minutes to set up 
and then we're gonna be rolling. Here's the fun part, working as a one-man crew. Uh, immediately, I look at where I'm going to set up the first interview, and I kind of migrate all of my gear over there, start opening cases, and I like to do get the, the camera angle first, then set up the lighting, then set up the audio, but sometimes I skip back and forth and it slows me down, but in this case particular, it was... Uh, pretty fast to get it going and we had our producer zooming in from Virginia. This is the marketing director helping out. To counteract the weight of a boom pole, I'll put these dive bag weights that I use for scuba diving in this bag. And that's the counterweight. All right, for the fun stuff, the gear talk, we got the Canon C70, which is, in my opinion, one of the best solutions for corporate work. We have the shotgun mic boomed ahead, uh, overhead. We have the big softbox light to the left and that Rode lavalier right there, that's the receiver. That's the primary input for audio, but then we also have the shotgun as a redundancy, which um, I would always advise having redund redundancies, especially for audio. I arrived at the office at 9, had 30 minutes to set up. We started shooting at 9.30. We did three interviews, and now it's 11.11, and we are packing up for a 45-minute drive to Fort Lauderdale. So we're shooting in 4K, 24 frames per second, 10-bit, Canon Log 2. And this is the first interview. I had to push in the key light really close to bring his face up to match the level of the view. And then we have the second interview. Uh, we just pivoted around and then the third interview. This is the uh, producer who was standing in. So three interviews. Most corporate work is extremely similar. You get some interviews talking about the product and then you get B-roll showing the product. So in our case, we already have the interviews. Now we're going to a few grocery stores to show a fake family engaging with the product. First thing we do when we arrive is the marketing director starts location scouting, asking me for ideas. And he says, it'd be a good idea for us to get some shots in the butcher's market. Then the family starts to come in. Um, we already have our location set up for where we want our B-roll and our on-location interviews. So this one was very minimal setup, lavalier, tiny light with some diffusion on top. They wanted a realistic look, not a polished look. And then it's back into the car, pack up and get ready to go. We are at location number three and it is 4 p.m. It's an interior scene and we need some sunset light. So we're gonna shoot this Amaran 200X, warm it up and kind of match the interior colored lights and send in some long end of the day shadows. This is my favorite looking scene of the day. We're filling in some shadows with bicolor lights. To me, having the color temperature on a dial is extremely valuable. And we're just getting some shots of food getting chopped up, uh, some slow motion, and a quick on-location interview. And that's it for the entire day, wrapped up by 6.30. Final day in Miami, the client booked me a hotel after the shoot wrapped at 6 p.m. last night. So that's always nice. And of course, it looks like a bomb went off in here. And I'll be heading back on the four hour drive back to Orlando. The absolute last part of the job is taking all the footage onto a physical hard drive and mailing it to the client and invoicing them. Once that's done, the project is complete. And I love this type of corporate work. It's a little fast paced, but it's not rigorous. Um, you're definitely tired at the end of the day but it's very good day rates. Um, you meet some very interesting, powerful people. And I'm just trying to expand my network and get more clients and show other people interested in DP work in Florida what it's like.